we're going to make this look like a spray painted spray painted out um, onto the hull number the way we're going to do that is go to effects and our blending options and our fill opacity will go all the way down to zero and that'll make it appear to disappear and now with an outer glow choose say a yellow for this make the size a lot larger put it on normal mode do things like dial up the range we'll also give it a little bit of an inner glow those lines are a little too perfect for me go to similar yellow this opacity, we're going to make sure it's way down. Normal mode again. About 20% for that. We'll hit OK. So now our final hour four logo is complete and um, it's ready to be placed into our video game document. So, again, let's use that handy Google image search. You look for something like I'm a big Xbox 360 fan Xbox 360 game cover and looking here we've got Transformers perfect I can't wait to cut out that crappy game copy that Let's go to New Document in Photoshop, paste it in, and now we like this little teen logo here. So let's zoom in, copy it, and move it to a new layer. Rated T for teen. So I just did a Control C, Control V, and you can see here a new layer. I'll even call it teen, so you can see. Then from our old page, we're going to drag this document and detach it from the window. Make a copy of our background layer. And then with all of our layers selected, drag those right in to our other document. And you can see here that the original logo doesn't fit the exact uh, dimensions of our Xbox 360 game cover. First, before we deselect these, we're going to create a new group from layers and call it Cover Art. Hit OK. Bring it underneath the teen logo that has to sit on top. And here's how we'll take care of our ratio issue. First, we'll take our background and its rust select those both right click and convert to a smart object now that combined both of those so we get to keep the detail and we get to use it as one object hit control T and if you have snap on as an option you should snap this right to the sides of your window and up to the top of the 360 logo here final hour we can control T that and place it appropriately right about there is good and let's bring our four here let's make it even bigger they really want to know which final hour they're playing finally to complete our video game cover we're going to look for <laughs> something nice and generic, but also warmongering. Um, let's do Mushroom Cloud. I'm sure we'll get, uh, yes, plenty of fun results from that. Um, and just looking for a really good one here. Um, this may actually be perfect. The first one. Copy that. 
And right above that background layer, I'm going to paste it in. We're also going to convert this to Smart Object, so we don't lose any of its detail if we want to scale it back. Blow it up. Fit it to our document just right. And now if you zoom in, you'll see we lose a lot of detail. So a good way to keep it, uh, keep it and uh, keep it looking good, we're going to change the blend mode so we get our background involved as well. And just cycling through some of these modes. There's no one I recommend. I think I saw one a few back that worked just right. Lighter color is fine. And we're going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur it a little bit. Give it just the right amount so that its details are feathered and we keep the high quality box art uh, that we had before. We'll even bring down its opacity to say 50%. There it is. Final Hour 4 is ready to hit store shelves, and uh, you're ready to go and make it on your own. That's it for us. Go have fun and make your own video covers, and even submit the ones you make to QuintelDesigns.com, and we can, uh, I'll take a look and discuss them. Have a good one, guys.